Good morning, everybody. Um, well, I'm four days on my penicillin, and I, I'm doing a bit better. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sounding better, and I'm feeling better, so hopefully I'm looking better. Um, Tristan, I guess, has decided to, to join us with this blog. Um, this is probably be a bit distracting. Um, I, the blog today I wanted to do, um, I got a letter from just the, the education board um, stating that they are going to assess Tristan, so that's some good news. Um, but they gave me like a 10 page essay. Ah, Tristan, don't son, please, Tristan. Go over this way. They gave me like a 10 page essay um, that I have to fill in. So I'm asking about every little thing wrong with Tristan, you know. So I was sitting trying to fill it out and I just, I needed to take a break because my head is frazzled. You know, that's, that's one thing that's, um, that's quite hard. Also, you know, everyone who has a child with a disability will understand when I say this is the constant filling in of forms and describing how bad your child is, what your child's lacking in, how they struggle, and it's it's hard, you know, it's very mind draining, and you, you, know, you, you know, it's very, it's, I struggle with it, because you have to write over and over and over again, you have to talk about how your child isn't, you know, like other children their age, and why they struggle, and what they're struggling with, and you know, tantrums and why they throw them and it's, hey, mommy. it's hey. all the time, it's endless. So, I mean, I just wrote a, they asked in the first letter when they said they were, um, they asked me to write a statement as to why they felt my child should be assessed. So I wrote like a four page essay, more or less, on why Tristan should be assessed. And that was only three weeks ago and now they're sending, you know, they send this out and can you please fill in all this. Paper, you know, filling the paperwork again, going over again and again and again about his disability and him not speaking and he doesn't like to go outside and he doesn't walk and he can't understand things and he still can't even pick up a crayon. You know, it's hard. It's just I'm like ex I'm really exhausted. And then without having the tonsillitis, you know, and then, you know, it's just it's all these reports all the time. You go over it and you fill it in over and over again why your child struggles, why they can't do this, why they can't do that, and it's just, you know, mentally, emotionally, it's just, it's draining, you know, and my hand is killing me from having to write, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just so difficult, so I was like, I'll just do a little blog and take a break there, so, you know, I know I'm not the only one, obviously, all parents with a child with a disability have to go through this, but it's over, it's exhausting, over and over and over again. I'm quite sure they'll ask me again in another month's time to fill in another paperwork as to why, you know, Tristan's behavior and this and that when it's like, to me, the report from their education psychologist should be enough because she's the professional, but I know because I'm, I'm with them 24 seven, you know, only I know him more than anybody else, but you know, I, Personally, I believe they solely go on a professional's opinion rather than mine anyway, so thank you. No, one wee second. So I'm just, I'm really exhausted. So I've been sitting doing this for an hour and I'm still have like two pages to do. It's like, and they give you like this much room, but you have to write like that much, you know, it's just like, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. But I am feeling a bit better. Um look kind of pale, but I'm, I'm, I'm still, it's only been four days on penicillin, so I'll stop taking my codeine. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's hard, it's, it's hard, obviously, you know, with, with being sick, because I was very sick there, and um, dealing with Tristan, and then obviously with an incident that happened three weeks ago, due to, like I've stated before, for legal reasons, I can't mention it, um, because police and all were involved, but it was something that was very horrific that I happened in my house so and I'm trying to struggle and deal with that and it's very hard so I just have a lot on my shoulders right now and I'm just like oh please no more I can't you know God may think I'm strong enough to handle it but I really don't so please no more so that's my blog for today anyway so I'm gonna go back to filling in my report and back to talking about my son who doesn't talk 
like a three, a three and a half year old child should, doesn't go out and play. <sighs> Lovely, so no worries, that's my vlog for today.